we do have one junior in the class. I'd like to have you take a step forward in this uh, four-year-old class. And this is entry number 1044, CNJ Colonel Takati from Silas Jacobs of Pearl City, Illinois. Congratulations, you're our first place junior. And the production winner in the class is entry number 1031, Now Haven Parker Faith from Mannion Heirs and Sons of Mechanicsburg, Ohio. And now for the winners in the class. In third, and also first place bread and owned, entry number 1032, Kings Mill Premium Josie from Michelle Flutie of Bloomington, Illinois. Second place in the class and first place best utter, Lemise Tinkerbell from Dan Maureen Buginski, Danmore Farm, and Triple Crown Genetics of Othello, Washington. Congratulations. And the winner in the class is entry number 1048, Four Slon Whistler Molly from Rotting House of Woods of Madison, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge McKibben, your comments. Ladies and gentlemen, certainly not the easiest class to place. There's good cows throughout the class. Some are stale, some aren't fresh, and you gotta make the best you can do with it. And to me, the first cow today, she's a show cow. She's very stylish. She walks out with a lot of, lot of style, a lot of presence in the ring. She's a, a well-balanced cow with a good mammary system. I grant you'd like to change a set to those rear legs. But when you analyze these two cows, the first cow's harder about the middle of her top. She's longer from the front end to the rear end all the way through over the second cow. The second cow is what you call a functional, really good cow. She's a deep rib cow. She's got a, an, a, a, she's good in a rib, not extremely deep, but a really good udder, really good rear view cow, extremely high and wide of her rear udder and will make her the best udder. Um, but just not maybe quite as hard through the center of the top as the first cow today. The second cow over the third cow, today on bloom of udder, height and width of rear udder. I adore the third cow and I adore the fourth cow, but I just can't get them any higher today. They're just not quite mature enough or bloomy enough in those udders today to be any higher. The second cow uses the height and width of rear udder today and overall uh, bloom today to go over this third cow. The third cow over the fourth cow, it's a close placing again, but the third cow is just a little more, a uh, little harder about the center of her top. She's just got a little more uh, style than the cow we have coming out in fourth. The fourth cow, beautiful frame cow, cow you really admire from the rear view, lots of spring of rib, and she uses that overall strength of loin structure today to carry out over the cow that comes out in fifth behind her. Thank you.